Tonight, talking with head coach Alan Hatcher of the Williamson Wolfpack, number one rated team in the state. In just a few moments, this team will be taking on the Princeton Tigers in the Class AAA Championship. Coach Hatcher, briefly, let's talk about last night's victory over Greenbrier East. Uh, the Wolfpack came to play last night. Well, I think we had uh, open game news the first night we played, and uh, uh, being the first time in the state tournament, and we uh, went in that situation last night where we played a basketball team that ran up and down the floor with us, and, the, and made our kids feel a little more relaxed because that's the type of game they like, and uh, we got some uh, good spurts since we've been playing all year long. We had certain spurts that we played good in, and uh, we got several days to get last night. Mark Klein, who's a six, seven and a half sophomore, you use him out front quite a bit. Any particular reason for that? Well, Mark Klein can play where he wants to play. Uh, we use him out front because he can see our big people underneath, so we ought to get the ball to him with a pass over the top of the head. And also, if they stack in there close with him, uh, he needs an 18, 20 foot jump shot. Which he did several times last night. Going into tonight's game against the Princeton Tigers, you played them twice during the regular season, defeated them both times. Do you expect anything different from the outfalls crew? Well, this is playing good basketball. We were playing real good last time we played the win, so we did by nine. But, uh, you know, they're an excellent play. They have to defend they try to go to him. If they can't get the ball to him, the way it does, they shoot from the wings, plus the two guards, too much to shoot. So we, we'll probably see a one thing one half court trap, or one two one one you want to call it. And uh, we'll have to be ready for that. But other than that, I don't see a whole lot of difference. We might see some more man to man defense than we saw the last time. Well, Coach Hatcher, the best of luck to you and the Wolfpack this evening as you take on the Princeton Tigers in the Class AAA Championship game. We'll be back in 60 seconds with more pregame discussion. You're playing against the AAA matchup is between the Tigers of Princeton and the Williamson Wolfpack. Ralph, you uh, defeated Wheeling Park quite uh, handily and then ran over Stonewall Jackson on your way here. How do you feel about your team's performance in the first two games so far? Well, the boys have played real well. Uh, we are uh, real satisfied with your play, and we hope to continue that tonight. What about this uh, Williamson team? I know that you've had a good chance to look at them now, and what does your team have to do to control them and to uh, to win the ball game? Well, we've got to, we've got to play good ball to beat to be Williamson, and that's what we want to do. We played them two ball games. One of them could have gone either way. Uh, we lost the other one down to third place, but tonight's a different story. Tonight's the one that counts, and we're going to be all about forward. Well, they've got uh, quite a height advantage, uh, but uh, some of your leapers uh, can, can get in there pretty good. Uh, how do you how do you view the, the rebounding thing as a factor in the ball game? Well, they are, like you say, they are bigger than we are inside, but our kids jump real well, and we think we can all set to jump with a little bit of quickness, and I think our boys rebound right with their big man at 6'8", and your big man at 6'8". Uh, I think that uh, Schwartz probably has a weight advantage on Jimmy. Uh, in the first two uh, outings, how did these two match up? Well, we, uh, they, uh, the rebound wasn't a big factor, I think. They shot so well both games. They had two good shoot nights against us, and the rebound was offset really by each team, I think. We didn't shoot as well as we have in other games, so if we can shoot a little better, maybe they don't shoot as good. It'd be a different game altogether. They are definitely a get-the-ball-off-the-board, fast-break type offense. Are uh, you planning to uh, to try to get the ball and run the other direction with it? Well, we hope to run when we get a chance, and we hope to keep them running as much as they'd like to. Okay, that's what, that's what we'd like to uh, like to find out about. And uh, I want to wish you best of luck with your Tiger take on Williamson tonight in the Class AAA Championship. Thank you for talking with us, Ralph. Right. Thank this you. has been the pregame show from the Civic Center in Charleston, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. This is High School Basketball Tournament 1981 from the new Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. Featuring Fred Persinger, Rod Odell, and Jack Fleming. Stay tuned for High School Basketball Tournament action on the West Virginia State High School Basketball Network. Back again at the Civic Center Coliseum in Charleston and the State High School Basketball Tournament. Starting the day with six. Then we had four. And as of tonight, when the action is over, we will have three. This afternoon, North Fork won its eighth consecutive double-A title, defeating Dunbar 53-50. to Bishop Donahue held on to eliminate Mullen 69-68 to win the A title. 
And tonight, a great matchup. Princeton, 19 and 6. Williamson, 25 and 0 for the AAA title. And before we get around to talking to Rod Odell, I want to talk with a young man who has just wrapped up his basketball career at West Virginia University, and he did it in great style. His name is Vic Herbert. And when Logan defeated Washington Irving 111 to 87 four years ago, Herbert was a key man, top star for Willie Akers Logan Club. Now, Victor, in that ball game, as I recall, you scored only 23 points, but you only played 11 minutes. Remember that night? Yeah, I sure do. It was a great night uh, for me and for our team. Uh, great high school tournament is always a really exciting place to be and an exciting thing to. Uh, be involved with. I'm sure the kids right now that, that we're with or, and that are here playing are having a, uh, one of the greatest experiences they'll ever have in their lifetime. We had a great shootout uh, pending that night between you and uh, Jeff Schneider of WI. You were well on your way to winning it when you picked up, it seemed to me like it was four fouls in the first quarter. Yeah, I, got, I had uh, three fouls, I think, as I recall, in the first quarter and picked up one real early in the third quarter when uh, when Coach Catlett or Coach Akers put me back into the game. And, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Sometimes it seems like you, uh, you get in foul trouble and can't play very much, but I was just fortunate enough to uh, have the good game that I had. I got a couple of questions for you. Number one, it's all over at West Virginia. You saved the very best for the last, and you went out with 16 points in that final game. It had to be a great throw playing in New York. It sure was. You know, I'm just uh, kind of sad that we didn't bring back the NIT title with us. Cause I really did feel that we had the best team up there. But uh, just to bring uh, just like a stepping stone for West Virginia, you know, uh, next year maybe it'll be on the NCAAs. I'm just happy that the people are uh, so proud of us in this state, and I thank them for everything they've done. Now, these kids are coming out on the floor. Can you tell me what they're feeling in their throats, in their hearts, in their heads? Yeah, I know they're all pretty nervous, Jack, because uh, I know I was. But it seems like when you throw the ball up to, to put the game off, all that nervousness goes away and they just settle down and play ball. So uh, I know it's going to be a great game tonight. Jimmy Miller's got uh, three big front line guys to contend with at Williamson. But, uh, he's a heck of a player, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, there could be could be an upset in the state tournament tonight. Thank you so much, Big Robert. You've been uh, a real joy to know and to work with, and we want to wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you very much, Jack. Nick Herbert of the West Virginia Mountaineers. We have Princeton out on the floor. Here comes Williamson. And the tip-off follows after these messages from our state tournament network sponsors. Taking a look at what has happened between these two clubs during the regular season. Williamson has defeated Princeton twice, 66-63 and 74-65. In moving to an undefeated 25-0 record. Princeton is 19 and 6. So it remains to see how they will play in tournament competition. And I've got to ask you, Rod, you followed these clubs closely. How do you see the game tonight? Well, Jack, really, it has to be one of two things. First thing is, you know yourself, and uh, it's a little cliche, but it turns out many times to be so true. It turned out to be true against uh, with Virginia this afternoon. It's tough to be the team three times in one season. Well, this is what Williamson has facing it. It has to be the same team for the third time in one season. On the other hand, Winston is up against a team that is really fired up. For the last three years, Williamson has had a fantastic ball club, and they've always run into adversity. They ran into really uh, acres running wildcats on two occasions. It's like running into a buzzsaw. Uh, they are here now. They've been trying to get here for three years. They're here. They have added incentive. Uh, Princeton, the way I look at it, Princeton is going to have to really do a job on the board, stay close to them, and then they've got a chance. It will either be a nip and tuck battle with one or the other winning, or Williamson will blow the game apart. That's the way I see it. If you look at that Allen Hatcher, is he beautifully dressed? 
He is decked out tonight. He is the epitome of sartorial splendor. It looks like he no, has that, but he's got nice looking clothes on. All right, he's got a black velvet jacket, and he's got a maroon vest, gray trousers, and this young man is really decked out tonight. The whole coaching staff over there wearing uh, buccaneers looks like the carnation. Jimmy Miller is out there. James DeWitt is out. Bobby Fletcher and Mark Klein. Paul Williamson. Here comes Stephen Strain. And he's short. Jeff St. Clair. Paul Fletcher. Third is down. Paul Williamson. High team. Now those are the starters. James DeWitt, who has 51 points in two games, two more than Jimmy Miller, 6'3 junior. Jimmy Miller, 6'8, 190 pounds senior. What more can we say about this great player? Mike Eve, 6 feet, a senior. Jeff St. Clair, 5'8, a senior. Step on strain. 6'3", 165, a senior. And other members of the Princeton Club. David Phillips. Gerald Grohl. Jeff Adams. David Tabor. Joe Hairston. Troy Clements. Russell Harris. And for Williamson, some of the other names you will be hearing about. Scott Maynard. Toby Hatfield. Doug Ward. Walter Ford. John Copley. John Phillips. Jerry Hurley. Bobby Fletcher, a starter. 6'6", 190, a senior. Mark Klein. Was turned by Coach Field Catler to West Virginia as the finest sophomore he's seen this year. 6'8", 180. Kenny Schwartz, 6'8", 205, and a senior. Julia Thatcher, 5'10", 155, and a senior. Curtis Power, 6 feet, a senior. Ralph Ball, coaching Princeton. Alan Hatcher, coaching Williamson. Well, Jack, almost a full house on hand here in the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. I would say this is going to be the largest crowd they've had in this building. You said a minute ago, Jimmy Miller, what more can you say about this young man? I'm sure that you and Coach Catlett would like to say one other thing, and I'm sure you'd like to say his name a few more times in his career. I'd like to have even Morgan Catlett. <laughs> what are we getting at? There they come. Princeton in white, blue trim, Williamson in maroon, white trim, Princeton will go to the left, Williamson to the right, James, rather, uh, Jimmy Miller standing in to jump against Teddy Schwartz, and Princeton has the tap. Working outside, just a player looks at a 2-3 zone for Williamson. Takes it to the left wing, now feeds it into Miller. Turn around shot from Paul and from the foul line. Jimmy Miller hits it. It's the lead, two to nothing. He penetrated the seam of that zone and got the turnaround shot inside the foul line. Now Mark Klein comes down. This is the ball off to Kenny Schwartz. This is the inside shot. Miller with the rebound. And Princeton headed back to the left. Jeff St. Clair, senior guard, shooting top of the circle. He hits. 4-0, Princeton, on the far side of the floor, Bobby Fletcher, double team, looks for help, beats it, down to the baseline, taken in there by Schwartz, turnaround shot, no good, a follow up inside, it's no good, ball cap, no good, and a follow up by Klein, he hits, Mark Klein, out in the lane in front of the basket on a turnaround follow up shot, 4-2, to two. Princeton now. Moving on the far side of the floor, St. Clair, Hasselbrook coming into the front court. 3 2 zone for Williamson. And they've got Fletcher and Schwartz back under the basket. On the point, St. Clair with the ball. He'll shoot out there for the top of the key. He hits again. They're going to have to come up try to stop him. Definitely, Jack. Jeff St. Clair. They gain the play tonight. Here comes Williamson. Curtis Towns down, feeding down to the baseline. Got Mark Klein playing out on the right wing. Bobby Fletcher on the left. Kenny Schwartz inside. Now the ball goes to the left corner. Fletcher fires off the rim. Rebound. Schwartz lays it up unsuccessfully. He was fouled. Kenny Schwartz went to the basket. 
Now by Jimmy Miller. Number one on the great star of the Tigers. And Kenny Schwartz will be at the line. Two shots. A 6 eight senior averaging 17.9 per game. Schwartz puts up the first one. It is good. Four is six to three. Schwartz ready for another one. In and out. Crap. No good. Rebound. Miller. Princeton. Out but short to Jeff St. Clair. St. Clair being covered by Curtis Downs over the midfoot strike. Gets it down to the wind. Firing for the right side. He's off target. And we have a whistle. Downs hit him on the arm as he took the shot. Curtis Downs got him on the arm. James DeWitt, as we told you, came into this game with 51 points. Jimmy Miller with 49. James DeWitt got his first free throw, 7 to 3. Second one is off the back of the rim and is rebounded by Julius Hatcher. Down the floor to Towns. Downs cutting through the keys in a mob scene in there, and he travels. They put a lot of people around him, and he travels. Inbounds play with pressure in the backcourt. Mike Eves in the Jeff St. Clair. All right, St. Clair. Angling to the far side over the midcourt stride, being pursued by Julius Hatcher. Hatcher is with him outside. Down to the baseline. Mike Eves takes the pass, dribbles in. Back out to St. Clair. St. Clair looks right. Holds it. 3 2 zone. Williamson. Ball comes left side. DeWitt. He fires for 16 feet. The angle is to the left on the side of the key. 9 to 3. James DeWitt hitting. Now, down the floor comes Williamson. Fletcher into the lane. One hands it up in front of the basket without success. Rebound tapped outside. Here comes Princeton. Nope. Good job by Curtis Towns. Drives in, dishes off the ball, and it's out of bounds. Schwartz was not looking that time. Jimmy Schwartz took his eye off the ball, and Towns spread it through the right field out of bounds. We have a timeout for Williamson. 5 all eight to play in the first quarter. The score, Princeton 9, Williamson 3. Both teams definitely crashing the boards on a couple of occasions. Very close to offensive basket interference, Jack. We'll keep our eyes on that. Princeton to inbound. Here's Jack Fleming. A lot of leapers out there, and they can get up around that basket. Winston moving against Williamson pressure down to Miller. Miller feeds it in underneath, and the layup is stated there by Jeff on string. 11-3. Beautiful play by Miller to string. Here comes Williamson flying, going in. Heading to the basket. He's fouled by Jeff St. Clair. Number one on St. Clair, Mark Klein. <laughs> And they're rolling no shot on the play. So there will be no free throws. Inbound play from Mark Klein. Back deep to Hatcher. Over to Towns. Down toward the left corner to Mark Klein. Now he's climbing at the baseline. Cut off by Mike Eves. Gets the shot. No good. Hooked up on a follow up by Schwartz. This is rebound. Jimmy Miller. Out of the traffic. Gets the ball to St. Clair. St. Clair, a 5 8 senior. Down the floor to the left corner to Eves. Back out to St. Clair. 3 2 zone, Williamson. Fletcher and Schwartz back underneath. Ball to the right side. Shot by DeWitt. Up off the rim. No good in the rebound. Bobby Fletcher. Fletcher with the outlet. Up into the front court to Hatcher. Hatcher driving into the key. Shovels it off to Towns. Towns fires one in there. Knocked down by Princeton. Picked up by St. Clair. 3 on 2. St. Clair goes to the hoop. Loses the ball. It's out of bounds. It was knocked away from me by Curtis Towns. That, that Towns fires the ball harder than anybody I've ever seen, Jack. He really ripped that pass in there. Here's the inbound pass. Right in front of the basket. And that was an interesting play because Strain got the inbound pass and put a move on the defensive player and traveled. Looked like he might have had the shot without even moving right close. Here they come, Williamson. Firing one down the floor. Mark Klein saves it. Miller come out to overplay the ball. And inside now, the ball goes to Short. Getting a shot away. He foul. Short 
screen commits the foul. At the line will be Kenny Schwartz. He is one for two. Go back and look at last night's activity. Here's Schwartz hitting. He made three out of six in the victory over Green Valley. 11 to 4. And he hits another one. So Schwartz with a pair, 11 to 5. In the backcourt, St. Clair trying to get away from Julius Hatcher. Hatcher tracking him all the way up to midcourt. Ball comes into the front court to Miller. Now Miller will stay outside to help him, and then he gets down into position very quickly. Jump shot on the right side baseline. Eve off the rim, and the rebound by Kenny Schwartz. Williamson left to right on the attack. Curtis Jones down to the top of the key. Tied up, gets the ball back. Now he bounces it out to the right side to Julius Hatcher. Hatcher is 5'10". Jones, 6 feet. Outside, Mark Klein takes the ball. Princeton playing a 2-3 zone. Here is Klein shooting over from the top of the circle. And he hits it. 11 to 7. 309 to play in the first half. On the attack, Princeton Eads down to screen. And screen gets that jump shot inside. Short jumper, baseline left. 13 to 7 in favor of the Tigers. 253, the clock turning. Princeton playing the 2 3 zone, and Miller back into the basket. They have moved it out just a bit. They leave the baseline open, and the ball goes down there to Schwartz. Now they react to him. He has three men around him. They go outside to climb. Back over to Hatcher across. Gets that ball to town. Town plays up a shot. Ball drop. Reaching for it underneath. Cut down by Princeton. Here's Princeton's Mike Eves driving into the front court. Eves looking under. Fires the ball down to James DeWitt. Back out again to East. 17 foot shot right of the key. And it is no good. The glass cleared by Julia Thatcher on an outside retreat. Thatcher up over the timeline into the front court. Princeton adjusting now into a 1 3 1. Now they switch. Now you see the 2 3 look. Flying coming outside to Towns, around to the left side to Hatcher, again to Towns, cutting into the key, beating up to Klein. 20 foot shot, good. Mark Klein, 20 feet out. Angle right, 13 to 9. Princeton back in the front court, do it for the ball. Coming to St. Clair. Now they post Miller fairly high on the right side of the lane, and they take screen over on the left. Here's a pass into Miller. He's challenged the ball back away by Williamson and taken by Bobby Fletcher. Long way down to Hatcher. Hatcher takes it to Klein and Klein scores it. 13-11. Beautiful transition move that time by Williamson. Back in the front court. James DeWitt. Out in the middle is Jeff St. Clair. 3 2 zone. Williamson. Over on the right side. On the right side of the lead. Now the bounce pass to Miller. And Miller going for the basket. Has it knocked away from him. Picked up. Here they come flying. Hard pass down to Hatcher. Hatcher back out to the top of the key. Pass goes into the left corner to Klein. He fires it. But Klein ties up the ball game. It comes with 50 seconds to play in the first quarter. 13 13. James away with the ball for Princeton. Dribbling across the key. Bounces it outside. It's just St. Clair. Bouncer down to Miller. Miller, turn around, shot for the right. Thanks for this. Jimmy Miller. 15 to 13. Princeton leading by two. A trap at half court. Down gets foot. Now we're down to 20 seconds. Williamson would like to get the last shot. Hatcher and Towns outside. St. Clair coming out of Casely. Now they play the 1-3-1, and they put Eves back underneath, and St. Clair's out on the point. To the right side to Klein. Klein's cutting, shooting to the right, in and out. Hard left shot. Rebound, Jimmy Miller, and it's all over in the first quarter. The score is 15-13 to in favor of Princeton at the end of the first quarter. We'll return after these words from our state tournament network sponsors. Phoenix Center Coliseum. One quarter by the boards. Princeton leads at 15 to 13. They had a big lead at 11 to 3 before Williamson started making their comeback. 
Klein with five field goals. He has every field goal that Williamson made in the first quarter. The other three points belong to Kenny Schwartz on three from four at the free throw line. So they bring Klein out behind the circle and working like a point guard, they've got a definite mismatch and that can work to Princeton's disadvantage. We're ready for the second quarter. Here's Jack. All right, Kenny Schwartz jumping with Jimmy Miller. Miller taps it, takes off by Curtis Downs up. Williamson, and down they come. They move the ball up to Klein. Klein keeps it underneath the shot of Smith inside by Fletcher. A follow-up misses, and here comes Princeton. And Sinclair goes into the lane. He's down on the floor. Gets the ball out to James DeWitt. And back out to Sinclair. 3-2 zone for Williamson. Princeton attacking to the left. Right there with the ball on the point around to the wing on the right side. Screen gets the jumper. 12 feet out. No good. Bobby Fletcher clears the glass. Here comes Curtis Downs. Left to right for Williamson. Checks up. Feeds it over to Fletcher. Fletcher whips one down. Baseline left. And a shot by Schwartz. No good. Miller knocks it down. Picked up by St. Clair. Princeton Tigers are leading 15-13. The AAA final. Here at the Charleston Civic Center, Coliseum. <laughs> Moving toward the key, James DeWitt fires, misses, and on the rebound, the win is up after. <laughs> and is fouled by Mark Klein. <laughs> they haven't put that up on the board. So it is not called a shooting situation. Here is the ball moved back outside again to Sinclair. Round on the left wing now to DeWitt. Now DeWitt over to Mike Keith. He just beyond the foul line to the left of the key. And he hits that little one-hander. And he ties it up. The runner makes it 17 to 13. Still looking to clarify that last foul. We'll do it for you. From the left corner, Bobby Fletcher for Williamson. Getting his first field goal, 17 to 15. 6.23, the clock is turning. Here's an overplay right in front of us as Fletcher goes for the ball. The pass intended for James DeWitt. And he knocks it out of bounds. Princeton attacking the 3-2 zone. St. Clair with the ball. Going to Eves on the right wing. He holds it up over his head back to St. Clair at the top of the key, and St. Clair is challenged by Mark Klein. Now into the middle of the zone. To Miller. His little jumper in front is off the rim. Bobby Fletcher with a rebound. Out with the Hatcher. Hatcher pushes it down the floor. Goes into the lane. Bounces off on the right side to Klein. Klein back to Hatcher. Over to Klein. Klein goes baseline for the right side. Dumps the ball back to Schwartz. He lost it. Down the floor. St. Clair with the ball. St. Clair is fouled by Curtis Towns. Towns made a brilliant attempt to stop him, but he got there too late and blocked him, Rod. That's the only fault I've seen so far for Towns. He has a tendency to get in foul trouble, trying to be a little too aggressive. Inbounds play by DeWitt goes to Miller, back to DeWitt down at the baseline. He fires one up there, and it's no good. He follows it up, and it is good. James DeWitt, 17-17, and we have a tie with 5.36 remaining to play in the second quarter. Williamson driving. This is Hatcher. Giving the ball to Fletcher. Cutting into the lane. One handing it up. 1915. I've done it again. Don't have a tie. Back at the other end with Princeton driving. And a foul called on Hatcher. Got to get me straight now, Rodney. I got my score screwed. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you straight. I won't let you go wrong, Jack. Hatcher reaching in that time. 15. Inbounds play from the baseline. Comes deep to St. Clair. Now he goes to the left corner with the pass. Shot taken from there by DeWitt. And the rebound cleared by Kenny Schwartz. Schwartz down the floor to Hatcher. Hatcher with a great move. Goes through the lane. Rims the basket, however. And a follow-up to the left side by Klein. Doesn't drop. And on the rebound, we have a whistle. And a foul is called. And the foul will be charged to Williamson. <laughs> It will go to Mark Klein, and it is his second. The 15 foul for Williamson, so we go back to the other end. And the shooter is going to be Mike Eves. Last night, 
He's hit three out of six at the foul line. This is the one and one at the line to the left. He's the young man who takes his feet very close together. Bumps it up there good. Not a bonus shot. 20 to 15 is the score. 5.07 to play in the first half. Princeton on top of the ball game. He's on the second free throw hit. He has four points. The Tigers lead 21 to 15. Pressure in the backcourt, very light by the guard, as Williamson moves the ball down to Fletcher. Fletcher feeds it underneath the crime and crime responds, lays it up and in. That was a fine feed by Fletcher into Klein, and Klein was coming in from the right side. Here's he back in the front court, out to St. Clair. St. Clair, alley-oop pass in the middle, he takes it, goes up, scores, and is fouled by Kitty Schwartz. Miller takes the pass, scores it. 23 to 17, and now Miller will have a shot at the free throw line. And definitely going in the middle, trying to get the ball into him, and Schwartz is having trouble with him. Schwartz not quite as noble as Miller. Miller won for three yesterday, and he hits 24 to 17. Princeton leading, undefeated Williamson. Fletcher with the ball, takes it all the way to the basket, is in and out on him. There's a collision in underneath. And the foul. It's called on Bobby Fletcher. Number one on Fletcher. All right, here comes Princeton on the attack. And now we get another collision at midcourt. We're going to call this one on James DeWitt. They're running away. Hatcher. Score is 24 to 17 in favor of Princeton. Hatcher is in the front court for the Wolfpack. Princeton plays. A 2-3 zone. Miller back. Here's Klein shooting over. He is beautiful. Slight angle to the right. 20 feet out. 24 to 19. And Mark Klein has 14 points. And now, with Princeton on the attack, the foul is called on Bobby Fletcher. Number two on Bob Fletcher. For Williamson. Scott Maynard. Replacing Fletcher. They give up about seven inches in the exchange, so that will mean they'll switch people. Maynard, a senior, 5'11". At the line now is Jeff St. Clair. He did not shoot until the second half last night. I keep saying last night. I should refer to yesterday totally, but he made eight for eight. Here's another one. 26 to 19 in favor of Princeton. Three men now coming down to trap the ball, and Williamson moves against that trap. Scott Maynard over the midcourt line takes it and gives it back to Julius Hatcher. Now to go to the right corner of the town. He fires one into the key to Hatcher, and Hatcher is fouled as he goes after the basketball. James DeWitt commits the foul. A rather, rather daring move, I think, the way they cut the man right in through the middle of that zone, and then they fire that ball in there. Like, oh, they really rip it in there. Looks like the Princeton quickness is giving uh, Williamson a lot of trouble. Uh, they're very quick, and Williamson having trouble keeping up with them. Hatcher just put up a free throw that hit the rim and went straight up in the air and came down and stuck for him. Got another shot coming, but Princeton is taking a timeout. 3.51 to play in the first half. Timeout of the ballgame to score. Princeton 26, Williamson 20. Three minutes, 51 seconds remaining here in the first half, and Princeton leads 26 to 20. 
It's just what we expected. A Super Bowl game. Princeton went up by eight points. Then Williamson came roaring back, charging, getting back into the ball game, and now Princeton trying to creep away again. They lead by six points. And here's Jack. Julia Thatcher makes the second shot. Princeton on the attack. Princeton is on offense. Ball controlled outside by Strain. And then back around to the right side to Eads. Here's Eads cutting into the lane. Fakes inside, goes up. And gets a shot stuff back at him. And a foul is caught on Bobby Fletcher. Eads at six feet. Went up and Fletcher at six six. Reached out and appeared to block the ball. All I can figure is Jack, they're evidently saying he got the body into it because yeah. he had the ball all the way. He must have got him with the body. Mike Eves rolls it off the rim to the right. No good. Maynard coming back in. Paul Fletcher is upset. Three fouls now, and he spent some time on the bench over there because of foul difficulty. Eves at the line to the left. Hit. The score is 27 to 21. Hope it down at Princeton tonight. We have Clinton Barnett listening. Our old friend. Here's the shot right in the hatcher. It is rejected by Miller. Back down the floor. Picked up and carried by Eves on the dribble down for the shot. No good. Rebound by Mark Klein. Klein beats it to town. Town gives it to Hatcher and Hatcher scores. Perfectly executed two on one break at the offensive end of the floor. 27 to 23. The white clad Tigers back on offense. Long shot. Angle right. Do it. Misses. Rebound. Hatcher. And in the backcourt, we get a foul called on Step on Strain, his second. Well, that Towns made a beautiful pass on that last break down court. He had already committed, gone to the right hand side, and Fired it backhand with the left hand just leaned out and flipped it back to his left. Beautiful feed pass coming down the lane to Hatcher. At the line is going to be Jeff St. Clair or check that, Scott Maynard. 11 stations across the state on our nighttime coverage of the AAA title game. Maynard hits. 27 to 24. A 5'11 senior. And another one by Mater. 27 to 25. Getting tighter. Princeton now being pressured. Another collision. No harm. They move the ball down the floor. DeWitt back outside again to St. Clair. Now the pass goes into Miller. They surround him. And he brings it back outside again to St. Clair. Now you notice Miller as he was in yesterday's game. When he gets the ball, he's usually surrounded. St. Clair fires from 20 feet straight down the middle, in and out on him. Rebound by Kenny Schwartz. Williamson in the front court. Hatcher, with that great quickness, takes it into the key, then reverses, comes back out. He wants him to rotate now. Here they go into their set offense. Princeton playing a 1-3-1 zone. With Mike Deeds back under the basket. It's packed in there, shooting over. Curtis Towns misses. A follow-up by Klein is rejected by Miller, and the ball comes outside to Hatcher. Now to the left corner to Klein. Klein fires it inside. Getting the ball into Schwartz. Schwartz goes to the basket, lays one up, and an offensive foul is called on Kenny Schwartz. He hit the shot, and it is overruled. Vincent, under pressure. Advancing the basketball. Princeton has got David Phillips into the ball game. 6 4 sophomore. Then Mike Eads, Eads from 15. A one hander that is so good it is tapped in by Miller. Jimmy Miller tapped it in. 29 to 25. Minute 20 to play. Foul on the backcourt called on James Dewitt. 
Wood playing the tough defense, but he committed the foul. That is his third. And for DeWitt, here comes Strain back in. So we got Eads and St. Clair and Miller. Phillips and Strain for Princeton. Hatcher and Towns. Klein, Schwartz, and Maynard for Williamson. Free throw try by Hatcher doesn't drop. 29-25, Princeton with a rebound. The ball brought down the floor by St. Clair, right to left into the attack area. Meets the 3 2 zone. Goes left wing with the ball to Mike Eads. Now back over to St. Clair, around to the right side to Strain. The bouncer to Jimmy Miller. Gets inside for the shot. It won't drop. And the rebound is pulled out of there by Kenny Schwartz. Down they come. Towns into the key. Fires it off to the left side to Klein. Klein brings it out. Gives it to Hatcher. Back to Klein. There's a 15-footer Klein. Angle left. Misses. Follow up inside. Made by Curtis Towns. 29-27. And they're running and battling tonight here at the Civic Center Coliseum. St. Clair gets into the front court. To the right side. The ball to Eads. 30 seconds remaining in the first half, and they'll wait for one. Princeton leading 29-27. St. Clair comes to the left side to David Phillips. 15 seconds. Jimmy Miller working low off the right side of the lane. 10 seconds. St. Clair around to the right side to Eads. Now he's looking for Miller. Stead Eads drives into the seat. It's up for a shot. That is blocked. And down the floor goes Williamson and not in time. The shot is blocked by Scott Maynard. And the ball up to Hatcher. And down the floor they went, but he did not get there in time. He did not beat the buzzer. And there's controversy on the far side of the floor. There's controversy on the far side of the floor. The score, Princeton 29, Williamson 27. At the end of the first half, we'll return after these words from our state tournament network sponsor. Okay, back here at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum, we're going through one of the yearly rituals here. They honor some coaches with uh, these are some of the coaches of the past that are honored each year at the state tournament, and uh, they've got about nine of them out there on the court right now. With the uproar going on, it's going to be hard to be able to pick up any of the names or any of the details. We've got a barn burner here. Princeton leads 29-27 at halftime. Trying to a little bit recreate what happened there in those fading seconds. As Princeton had the basketball with 30 seconds, working out around the perimeter. St. Clair began to work toward our side, firing the pass into Dave Phillips. He would throw it back, and he would force Phillips a little deeper down into the corner. They then worked the ball quickly back around the perimeter, gave it to Eads, who cut around the top of the circle, just outside the colors, went for a little short jump shot from the left-hand side, about 12-foot range. It was blocked away by... Um, Scott Maynard. Maynard grabbed the ball with four seconds, fed it ahead, and they went for the layup just as the red light went off. The official very quickly on the far side, standing out watching. When the red light came on, he jumped into the air, waved both hands, said, no basket, no basket, and that's when the roof fell in. So that's where it is with a last-second try to tie it up by Williamson falling short as far as time was concerned. And Princeton leading by a score of 29 to 27 here at halftime. Let me go back with you, if I can. 16 years to 1965, and I was working with the late Gene Morehouse, oh. close friend, and we would split the uh, championship game. And Beckley and Williamson were in the same kind of a Donny Brook. I did the first half, and uh, my doctor had told me I should go for a rest. It's been a long season. So I had a flight out of Kanoa Airport into Pittsburgh to Florida. I did the first half. It was just about like this half. I walked out, got my plane, and left. And it was 10 days before I found out who won that ball game. 
which and it was a final score. Beckley 69, Williamson 67. One of the greatest title games of all time. And that was played at uh, Charleston. That was at, in the old arena here in Charleston. And can you imagine walking away from a game like that at halftime? And I was sitting about four rows back behind you uh, hitting me with spitball. No, I, I, I wasn't doing that. I was sitting right behind you along with my wife. We had gone down to watch that basketball game. And it was a beauty. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Becky had a young man at that time, I think his name was Ron Lilly. I was working in the pivot, and he made some tremendous moves in that ball game. Left the big Williamson pivot man standing on about five or six different occasions. It was a, it was a great one. It goes back a long 16 years. We still have the presentations going on out on the floor, and we'll continue from the Civic Center in Charleston after this important message. All right, back here at halftime, it's 29-27 in favor of the Princeton Tigers. The presentations go on, and uh, what do we have? We had one tie in that first half, Jack, and no lead changes. Yeah, one tie at 13-13, and no lead changes whatsoever. Well, oh, this has been a dotty book. This has been a good one. Looked for a while as though Princeton was going to take early control of the ball game, but I kept thinking nobody can control this Williamson team. Uh, like like this, like it's being done, and they came zapping, zipping back into the ball game and uh, really made a dolly book out of it here at halftime. Well, we're back at the Coliseum at the Civic Center in Charleston. The two ball clubs are warming up Princeton to the right, Williamson to the left. Princeton leading 29-27 at halftime. We're ready to go, a 29-27 ball game, Princeton by two. We've had one tie at 13-13. Jimmy Miller standing in for Princeton. And Kenny Schwartz for Williamson. Miller has nine points. Mark Klein has 14 for the Wolfpack. They're ready to jump it. Miller casts it. Taken by Klein. Klein over the midcourt strike. Deep to the right side. We'll give the ball outside to Julius Hatcher. Drops it off to Curtis Towns. Towns comes outside with a decline. They're playing Klein out beyond that zone. Round to the right side. It goes to Towns. Now to Klein, over to Towns, a 15-foot jumper is no good. The ball kept in play, scoops up a Hatcher. He goes down, dishes it off to Fletcher, and Fletcher scores. Hatcher with a brilliant move into the lane. Now we have a tie for the second time, 7.32 to play in the third quarter. Hatcher went down the lane, dished it off to Fletcher, and he scored. Jimmy Miller, closely guarded, takes right, goes left, shoots, no good. Rebound, Klein. Miller with a great face, laid it up close in, but it didn't drop. Down they come. Hatcher from the right corner. Miss Myers. Miller with a rebound. Miller gives the ball to St. Clair. Just St. Clair. Mike Deans in the backcourt. Miller in the middle. He's got James DeWitt and Step Up Strain in the lineup buddy. For Williamson. Julius Hatcher and Curtis Towns. Here is Miller. Turn around shot for the lane in front of the basket and it's good. 31 29. Bobby Fletcher, Mark Bryan, and Kenny Schwartz also in there for the Wolfpack. They're under pressure at half court now. They move the ball left side of the front court to Klein. Klein dribbles in toward the key. The pass goes back out. Thirty-one, thirty-one. James DeWitt handling the ball at the right side for Princeton. Puts it on the point to stay clear. Back to DeWitt on the wing. Now he's looking for Miller. Miller in the crowd. Here is the whip out of the baseline. Jump shot. Good. 33-31. The whip looked to Miller. The defense collapsed, uh, collapsed around Miller. And the whip took the, upper, uh, the opportunity to get out of the baseline and get the jump for himself. And now here is Williamson. Mark Klein. Baseline left with a little jumper. Ties it up. That will be the fourth guy in the ball game. Klein with 16 points. Princeton with the basketball. Strain on a bounce pass outside the weeds. Deems to St. Clair. Williamson chasing some outside. Here's Miller to the lane with a turnaround shot that is no good. And on the rebound, the foul is called on step on Strain. Number three on Strain. Right, it looked like they might have been switching their defense around that time. It looked like they were switching a little bit on the inside, and uh, 
screen definitely on the outside out of rebound position. We went for it. Williamson goes inside to Schwartz. He can't find anything. They double up on him. He comes back outside out. It come down to him again. His jumper is in and out. And the rebound by James DeWitt. DeWitt handles it in the backcourt. Here's the ball to St. Clair coming over the 10 second line. St. Clair outside to the left. To Mike D. Now they play a 3 2 zone. There's the ball going into Miller. And Miller called on a push off. Jimmy Miller trying to get the ball pushed off. Princeton takes time out. With 4.50 to play in the third quarter of the score, Princeton 33, Williamson 33. Williamson on the attack. Here's the ball fed inside to Kenny Schwartz. Schwartz plays it up, no good in the fight for the rebound. And Bradley calls. Schwartz reaching over the shoulders of Mark Klein, and they were tied up together. Now, the two Williamson uh, players both had their hands on the ball, fighting for it. That's where the traveling came from. <laughs> All right, we got Princeton on the attack. St. Clair is in the front court, gives it outside of Mike Eve. Back again to St. Clair. Williamson going 3 2, and boy, they really collapsed on Miller. Princeton down the left corner to DeWitt. Miller always looks like he's in a fourth. Here's the shot by DeWitt from the corner. It's short. DeWitt goes into the lane to get it and follows it up. 35-33. On the far side of the front court, Bobby Fletcher dribbles into the foul line. Check. Gives the ball back outside. Towns will give it to Klein, who's back out in the middle. Leaves it to Towns. Back to Klein. Klein over on the left side to Hatcher. Back across the town, shoots for the right side, 14 footer, good. Curtis Towns, 35 35. Williamson has not been ahead, but he keeps battling back at the tie. Five off the ball to get it. Here's a steal. Asher going down against St. Clair. He can't get the shot in, but he is fouled on the play. St. Clair commits his second foul. Asher was trying to get a delayed action shot up there that wouldn't drop. And now he'll go to the foul line for two, and Julius Asher could give Williamson the lead for the first time. 328 to play in the third. Asher with two shots. First one, no good. Julius Hatcher, senior, with a second shot at the line to the left. Ball game tied. He hits. Williamson has his first lead. That's the first lead change of the ball game. 36-35. Here comes Mike Eads, all the way down to the baseline. Nice ball, and they're back out to St. Clair, beating it in the Miller in front. Miller's in a crowd, and a foul is called. Miller got into the heavy timber. Foul is called. Kenny Schwartz commits his third. Well, they're really sagging in on Miller. Every time he gets the ball down there, he's got three or four of them around him. I wonder if he ever gets claustrophobic. Here's a pass to Miller. Knocked away by Klein. Picked up by Towns. Down they come. The ball goes to Hatcher. Lays it up. And it is good. There's the interference, the offensive basket interference. And we said we had it a couple of times early, this time they call it. A hand went up there, and it is called offensive basket interference. No basket. Here comes Princeton with the ball. Princeton over the midcourt line to James DeWitt. And now... They whistle the ball dead while the, uh, the ball girls come out. Clean some ice off the floor. On the attack, here is St. Clair over to the left side to lead. Bouncer down to the left corner to DeWitt. Back out to lead. In the middle of St. Clair. Miller fighting for position at the left of the lane. It's Here's a pass broken up by Kenny Schwartz. Down to Hatcher. Hatcher in the crowd lays it up inside. It doesn't drop. And the rebound taken by Spring. Now 
left all by Mark Clyde. It is his third. The action is hot and heavy here at the State High School Basketball Tournament. On the attack, Princeton, St. Clair into the front court to ease. Now Miller sets up rather low on the left side of the lane, and he's got Bobby Fletcher with him, and Fletcher will get help. Fletcher's trying to front him. Miller keeps flying for position. The ball comes outside to DeWitt. DeWitt, an 18-footer, rims the basket. Rebound, Bobby Fletcher, Williamson. Williamson leading by one, 36-35. Down the floor to Towns. Towns goes across the key left to right. And then loops back out on the dribble between the circles. Drops it off to Mark Klein. Klein flips the pass in to Kenny Short. And Short dribbling into the lane collides with the defender. Offensive foul on Short, number four. So Short has committed his fourth foul. And a little more ice is out there on the floor. I got you having a sip of soft drink, didn't I? I've a mouthful of ice, Jack. This is something that has gone on a couple of times during the tournament. A very dangerous thing. Come up to an entire cup of ice on the floor. And although I know that uh, they're, they're trying to protest what they thought was uh, maybe a bad call, they could very easily get their own uh, member of their own team hurt very badly. Something that we've seen not just here at the tournament, but all through this season. Every time uh, we, we've been so many places where they're throwing debris on the floor. Well, they popularized throwing ice up in Morgantown. I say they should take ice out of the building because uh, you got a, one of those paper cups like you have there filled with ice and you uh, wad it all up and you throw it, you've got a weapon and somebody can get really hurt. Cut down on the size of the cup. If you, if the, the ice, I think, is just to displace the, the soda pop that they're putting in so they put less pop in. Take all the concessions out of the arena. Make everybody keep them outside. All right, Princeton on the attack. St. Clair outside to do it. Now the ball goes in from St. Clair to Miller, and Jimmy turns around and hits 37 to 36 another lead change. The ball came back to St. Clair, and he just simply looped it into Miller, and Miller hit it to the lane in front of the basket. That is his favorite shooting spot. Williamson on the attack. Towns drops it off outside to Mark Klein. Klein goes with the pass over to the left corner to Fletcher back up to Klein, shoots top of the key, does it drop. Now here comes Princeton after the rebound. James DeWitt into the front court. They have brought Scott Maynard in, in place of Kenny Schwartz, who picks up his fourth foul. On the left side, here's Mike Eads getting a shot away and hitting it for the left corner. Eads was overplayed over there, kept the ball, and got the shot away. 39-36 Princeton. Down comes Hatcher. Hatcher tries a bounce pass, loses the ball, picks it up, hits the shot, and then it's fouled by Jimmy Miller. I should say he was fouled on the shot, but he lost control of the ball. Somehow, Miller is down. Hatcher was down. Miller commits his third foul. 39-38. Miller. Miller's showing a little emotion. Hatcher ties it up. Three-point play. 39, 39, 48 seconds to go in the third quarter. The sixth tie. Pressure on Princeton. Down they come. James DeWitt to the baseline. Feeds to Miller. Miller lays it in midside. He misses three by Clyde. Clyde racing with the ball over the midcourt strike. Pulls up outside. And immediately is covered by Jeff St. Clair. The ball goes to Curtis Town. And now Williamson wants to run time off the clock and get the last shot. The Clyde again. And then over to Curtis Town. Downs to Klein. Back again. Deep on the right side to Bobby Fletcher. 14 seconds. Fletcher gives it to Hatcher. Hatcher goes into the key. Hatcher fires it down to the baseline to Klein. Klein back out to the foul line to Bobby Fletcher. And he hits the one-hander. Brilliant movement of the ball by Williamson. And time runs out in the third quarter. 
Williamson has battled back into the lead. 41 to 39. That's the end of the third quarter. We'll return after these words from our state tournament sponsors. Well, the Williamson Wolfpack has battled back. I got a shot from Bobby Fletcher, about 12 feet out, angle left, just at the side of the lane, with four seconds to go, Fletcher hits the basket to give Williamson the lead at 41-39. Eight minutes left in this triple A championship ball game, and to describe it for you, here's Jack Fleming. All right, the final stanza. Jimmy Miller. Jumping against Fletcher. Ball taken by Mike King of Princeton. Williamson leading 41 to 39. What a ball game. 10,433 looking on. Biggest crowd they've had here at the Civic Center for basketball. Princeton's going to hold it out for a minute. We see Williamson playing a 2 3 zone and they cover Miller heavily. The ball comes into Miller. He gets that jump shot out in front and it's short. Follow up underneath. My screen is so good. And now another follow up by Miller is good. He got it on the third try. He took one. Strain tried one. And Miller followed it up. That was on Scott Maynard his first. Jimmy Miller ties up the ball game. 41-41. Seventh tie. And Miller is a chance to give the lead to Princeton. Miller hit 42 to 41. That is the fourth lead change. Williamson against the pressure into the front court. Bobby Fletcher drops it up outside to Curtis Towns. And they go deep in the middle to Klein. Klein works it down to the left corner to Fletcher. Fletcher back to Klein. Around to the right side to Hatcher. And across the key and into the left corner to Fletcher. Gets his shot and he hands it. 43-42. Lead change number five. Williamson on top. Hatcher breaks the pressure. Moves it into the front court. To DeWitt. Back to Hatcher. Or make this to E. You're getting me right out of my skull. This is basketball at its very finest. Princeton to the left corner to DeWitt. Gets it to Miller. Left side of the lane. And Miller under pressure gets a jump shot away that doesn't drop. Rebound by Mark Klein for Williamson. And the Wolfpack back on the attack. The Tigers go into a 1-3-1 zone, and the point man is Jeff St. Clair. Williamson to the left corner. To Fletcher. Back out around to Towns. Across into the corner to Fletcher. Now to Klein. They open it up. 18-footer left to the key. Doesn't drop. Rebound by Keyes. Here comes Princeton left to right. Keyes on the near side of the right of the basket. Pass comes out on the point to Jeff Sinclair, back to Weed. Miller fighting for position on the right side of the lane. Everywhere he goes, he has three men with him. Here's a shot drive by DeWitt. Whoa, way short. Taken down by Williamson. Towns coming down the floor. Towns to 15, fires it down in the hole to climb. He's on the floor, he's in trouble. He gets it out to Hatcher. And Hatcher retreats back outside with the basketball. Williamson leading 43 to 42. The pass coming across to... Towns almost deflected. He saves it, gets it back to Klein, down to the baseline, inside the Maynard, and Jimmy Miller. Knocks it away, tries to save it. Do we have a foul? Got an inbound play for Williamson. Fletcher will inbound it. On the right side to Klein. Klein back out the quarter court, right side to Towns. Gives it back to Klein. Fletcher, right corner, 2-3 zone, Miller back under the basket. Down to the left side, they come to Hatcher. That line sets up the rotation. Gives the ball, deep left to Towns, around in the right wing. He goes to Fletcher, out of the middle. The line, over to Fletcher, down to the right corner now. To Hatcher, back on around to the left side. Towns gets the shot. Off the inside of the rim, no good of the rebound. Taken by Jimmy Miller. That was an 18-footer angle left. Williamson going to his bench, bench for Kenny Schwartz. And we got Mike Eads in the front court for Princeton. Looks for Miller. He's covered back outside to St. Clair. St. Clair into the key, down the lane, bounces off on the right side. 
Ball taken by Strain, given back out to Eve. Miller set up now, medium height. Left side of the lane, takes going under. Goes back out to the left. Miller stays there, and they sneak the Strain under the basket. Strain's on the weak side now as the ball goes to the left, and they feed the pass over to Eve, and he can't find the opening. Eve's into the lane. Now he finds it and hits. 44-43. Excellent move that time. As he went inside and double pumped him through it in. Time out in the ball game with 418 to play. The score. Princeton 44, Williamson 43. All right, four minutes, 18 seconds to play in this AAA championship ball game. The Princeton Tigers lead 44-43, and Williamson has the basketball out. Wink to the court away. What a move by Eve by that last basket. Cutting into the lane, instead among the tall timber, double pumped, underhand, scoop shot, got it up and in. Here's Jack. Bobby Fletcher came out, looked over, and smiled at me. It sort of went, woo, some kind of a game. Here's Fletcher coming down with the ball. He comes up chest to chest with Jimmy Miller, and Miller just simply took the ball away from him. Right back. 405 to play. 44-43, Princeton. And the Tigers on the attack. They went for the right corner. Fires go good. Rebound. Outside. Julius Hatcher. Down on the right side of the front court. Bounces back out to Towns. Towns over to the top of the key. Against the 2-3 zone. Ball goes to Klein. Klein to the right wing. Over to Towns. Of course, they've got Kenny Schwartz back in there. Now they come to Towns on the right side of the lane. He dumps it off on the right side to Fletcher. Fletcher fires. Shot no good to the rebound. James DeWitt of Princeton. Miller is in there tonight with 16 points, and DeWitt's with has nine. For Princeton. Nine, 16. For Williamson. Williamson. Playing his own back underneath. It looks like a triangle and two almost. They keep three men back and chase with two. Very close to it. And here is Eve coming back outside, giving the ball to St. Clair. Now, right at this point, Williamson's going to have to do something tactically because Princeton's going to work the ball around that situation. And time is running down, and we saw one club get murdered with this type of thing. Here is a beautiful move. The ball taken by DeWitt crossing the lane. He shuffled it down the lane to step on Strain. And Strain, cutting the baseline, went to the basket. He did not get the basket, but he was fouled. Who committed the foul? I don't know. I think they gave it to Fletcher. Bobby Fletcher, that's his fourth. It is Fletcher. Now they finally put it up. And we've got a timeout called by the Princeton Tigers. Strain is ready to go to the line for Princeton. The Tigers call timeout. We have 2.45 remaining in the in the uh, AAA championship game. The score, Princeton 44, Williamson 43. Pandemonium reigns supreme. Up to our right, the Wolfpack supporters screaming. Down to our left, the Tigers cheering section screaming. Everybody is screaming. 10,433 streamers, and now the left back calls timeout. They want to let him think about it a little longer. The tactical wheels are turning, and he may have uh, come out just to see exactly uh, where they would set themselves in that situation, but I think it's more of a psychological thing. So the wolf pack comes back with a timeout. If you happen to be away from your radio today and missed it, in the double-A final, North Fork defeated Dunbar 53-50. A sensational basketball game. A great challenge by Dunbar. But Jennings Boyd goes out with a victory. And North Fork has a national record. Eight consecutive titles. Then Bishop Donahue, well ahead of Mullins at halftime, saw Mullins come back. And Bishop Donahue won that one 69-68 with a free throw at the end of the ball game for the Class A title. That's the kind of basketball we're having. Now these two ball clubs are 44-43, Princeton leading by one. Strain at the line to the right. Two shots. Step on Strain, misses. A 
The crowd is putting a strain on strain. He's looking right at the Williamson section. And I mean, they're up there and active. Strain hits. 45-43. 2 45 to go. Now, Williamson trying to operate against the first pressure. It's heavy. They get it down to Bobby Fletcher on the right way. Fletcher back out around to Hatcher and Towns. Towns going down to the left corner to Klein. Klein's only had one basket in the second half. Now back and around to the right side to Hatcher. Now they come around to the left to Klein. Klein looking down underneath. They've got that zone back back. And here's Klein shooting over and hitting 15 footer from angle left. Princeton back to zone. And Klein hit it. So we've got a tie. Number eight in the ball game. And here's a steal by Towns. He takes it down and he misses the layup. He's got the rebound for a follow up. No good. And we got a foul call. No foul. No foul. I, don't know what, I don't know what the call was. He made the steal and then missed the shot. I don't know what that call was. The ball was loose. It's out of bounds to Princeton. And to the Miller. Miller to Eve. Eve's in the front court. Tie ball game. 154 to play. Princeton has the basketball. Coming outside to St. Clair. And around on the left side to DeWitt. And around on the right side to Eve. Out of the point to St. Clair. And they're working it around the zone. Now over on the left side, Hatcher is playing out with DeWitt. Playing over there pretty tight. They're roaming three men around Miller. And we've got Curtis Brown sort of working three between two men outside. They're keeping three men back on Miller. And that fear of what Miller may do behind them at the back door may cost them the ball game. Here is St. Clair driving in, feeding it back to the left to DeWitt. The clock's down to minute seven. DeWitt driving into the lane. Feeds it to Miller. Miller goes to the basket and lays it up. He scores. 47 to 45. And now Princeton ahead. And Williamson gets it down the floor. An opportunity to tie up the ball game. To the left corner to Klein. Klein gets his shot away up off the rim and hangs. Doesn't fall on the rebound. A foul call. Call on Kenny Schwartz. Number five on Schwartz. He went way up in the air that time. Mike Eads to get that rebound. But the beauty was on that last play as they fed it inside. They got the ball to uh, do it. He cut to the lane, jumped in the air as though to shoot and dumped it out to Jimmy Miller, who got up and very gently stuffed it down in the basket. They pulled the defense to Eve. But both men jumped out the star to uh, do it. Both of them stopped, uh, jumped out to stop him, and he fed it off to Miller for that easy shot. Scott Maynard comes into the ball game for Williamson. We're getting a timeout called by Williamson with 44 seconds to go. The score, Princeton 47, Williamson 45. 34 seconds remaining in this AAA championship ball game. And the Princeton Tigers lead it by two at 47-45. And at the free throw line, Mike Eve. Mike is... Three for four at the charity strike tonight. He to the line. One and one. Shot is good. 48 to 45. Twenty-four seconds to go. He's with a bonus shot. Hit. 49-45. Here comes Williamson. Hatcher to down. Down as a shot blocked. And he retrieves the ball. Down to cross on the right side to Fletcher. Fletcher brings it left. Turn around shot off the back of the rim and the rebound by Mike Eads for Princeton. Here's Eads driving in the backcourt and he hit the end line. Out of bounds. 24 seconds remaining. In a critical situation for the Wolfpack, down now by four. Now we get a foul call. Ten seconds. 
held up down just trying to stop the clock. Pointing up in the stands or something, I don't know what it was. Is the clock right? Is what they're yelling. Oh, they're pointing at the clock. They want to know if the clock is right. We show 10 seconds with Princeton a two point lead, 49 47. Jeff St. Clair at the line. St. Clair made 8 of 8 last night, and he hits that one. Fifty to forty-seven. Ten seconds remaining, and Princeton will take a timeout. And Ralph Ball will talk to his club. The Tigers are within ten seconds of a major upset of a club that defeated them twice during the regular season. Williamson undefeated. 25 and 0, and Princeton at 19 and 6, reaching for its 20th win. This has been some kind of a day of basketball. And that is what we were talking about before the ball game. Awfully hard to defeat a team three times in one season, and uh, although it has been done many times, it's still a difficult chore to beat a team, especially a team that is as well balanced as Princeton. And they are within 10 seconds of winning this one. They have a three-point lead. And St. Clair has another opportunity at the free throw line. He's got up chance to give his team a four-point lead. Almost insurmountable with 10 seconds left. Yes, St. Clair will be at the line to the right. Some of the wide-open stance. They play one man way down the floor, DeWitt. And at half court, they play Mike Eves. St. Clair shoots, hits, 51 to 47, Clark turning, ball moves to Klein, Klein brings it down, Klein fires from 16, they'll get the rebound by DeWitt, he dribbles around, he's fouled with four seconds to go, now will be on Bobby Fletcher, and he fouls out of the ball game. Fletcher out with five field goals, no free throw opportunities. Ten points. And well, the celebrating has begun. Four seconds remaining. Princeton has a four-point lead. And they have James DeWitt at the free throw line. He is one for two up there tonight. He hasn't been the scoring machine he has in the previous two games, but he's played a good one. Princeton puts everybody at the other end of the floor as DeWitt misses. Intentional foul call, he'll shoot too. Well, it's been a great ball game. This one doesn't drop for DeWitt. Williams with the ball. Long one from half short time, but Julius Hatcher barely off the mark. And it's all over. In a sensational ball game, Williamson has been defeated for the first time this season. The Wolf Pack. Finishes at 25 and 1, and the Princeton Tigers win for the second time in the last three years. As their record goes to 20 and 6, and Jimmy Miller and Princeton have marched to the AAA title. The final score: Princeton 51, Williamson 47. To our left, the crowd is going wild. To our right, there is nothing but silence. Cheers! It is a tough tough situation when you come this far and see it all in in one night. But on the other hand, for Princeton, the long climb right up to the top, and the Tigers had it when they needed it in the championship game. So that's the end of the AAA title battle with the final score, Princeton 51, Williamson 47, 29, and that's a great turnout. Now what about the individual awards for, for cheering? Okay, uh, Jack. The individual award, the best cheerleaders, goes to the Black Eagle cheerleaders of South Charleston. The best cheering section is Princeton. The team sportsmanship goes to Princeton, so Princeton takes three of the top four awards here. And when you look at the scoring, Mark Klein had 20 to lead Williamson, and Jimmy Miller 
Kinney with 18. Billy Princeton to victory. So those were the top scorers in the ball game. That was just beautifully played from one end to the other. The champions are Bishop Donahue in Class A. Northport for the eighth consecutive year in Double A. And now Princeton coming back to duplicate his victory of 1979. And Jimmy Miller has led his club to two championships in three years. Well, before we go, we would want to thank Chuck Kinder and his staff here at the Charleston Civic Center. And also the other people who have aided us in this broadcast in the special events room, in our request for interviews, they've all been great. Well, they certainly have, Jack, just as always, and it's been a very smoothly run tournament. Everything starting on time, ending on time, and speaking of ending on time, we're just about uh, going to have to get out of here as quickly as possible so that we can get out on time. That's what we'll have to do. Once again, the final score, Princeton 51, Williamson 47. And now... For our broadcast crew, Fred Persinger, Rod Odell, Harold Griffith, and our executive producer, Tony Gonzalez. This is Jack Fleming at the state tournament in Charleston, wrapping it up for the 1981 tournament. And this has been a WTNJ production. Al, what happened in high school basketball today? Well, Karen... Tonight, Princeton beat Williamson in high school action. In playoff action, Williamson has been unbeaten for the past 25 games. Jim LeBranch was there, and he filed this report. The Princeton Tigers were fired up tonight when they came to play in the final game of this year's West Virginia High School State Basketball Tournament in front of 10,430 people, the largest crowd ever at the Civic Center for a basketball game. They beat Williamson 51-47. to They were led in scoring by Jimmy Miller, who tossed in 18 points. Mike Eats tossed in 11 for the Tigers. They're now the state champions in AAA, as they were predicted to be at the beginning of the season. This is Jim LeBrant reporting for WVBA Television News. Top-ranked Wolfpack, 51-47. to and some of the tape highlights from the Coliseum in the capital city. Princeton's Jeff St. Clair in white right here. Hits one from the top of the key. Here comes a crazy one for the Williamson Wolfpack in maroon. Ken Schwartz misses on a turnaround jumper. Teammate Mike Klein rebounds, puts it up. He misses. A tap by Schwartz is now no good. The ball comes out of the crowd where super soft Klein retrieves it. Hits on a turnaround jumper. For the Patriots, it's going to be number 32, James DeWitt. James lets one pop from the side. It's in the net. Klein scores for the Wolfpack on this next play. Here he is, top of the key. He led all scores with 20 points. For Princeton, it's Stefan Strain, number 34. He will strike for two points underneath, off to the side. Princeton again on the attack. A pass is going to be knocked away, as you'll see here shortly. It's going to be picked up by Williams' Bobby Fletcher. Fletcher passes down court to Julius Hatcher, who feeds to Klein for the layup. It's a good play. Finally, the man who made the difference, All-American Jimmy Miller, also an All-Stater. The 6'8 star scores on a turnaround jumper. The final score, here's Miller. Final score, Princeton 51, Williamson 47. Our congratulations despite the loss to Williamson anyway. They had a great season and a great year. It came down to one game, but still they had one, as I mentioned, one great season. The celebrating continued in Princeton this afternoon where several hundred Tiger fans turned out for one final tribute to their heroes. Last night they pulled off an amazing feat when they beat Williamson 51-47 to for the AAA championship. The Wolfpack was unbeaten in 25 games and most people around the state thought the number would be 26 after last night. Most people except the Tigers who had other ideas about who's the best team in the state. Princeton was fired up when they came out on the floor and they took off right away. Five minutes into the match, Princeton led 11-3, to but the Wolfpack kept gnawing away at the Tigers, and at the half, the game was within two points with Princeton ahead 29-27. It was close from then on with Williamson taking the lead three times, but with the game tied at 45, Jimmy Miller took the ball down the lane for a near stop, and Princeton moved ahead for good. Mike Eads hit two foul shots, then Jeff St. Clair made two after Mark Klein popped one in for the pack, but that was it for the scoring. After losing to them twice, this time, with all the chips on the table, the Tigers came through. More record was broken at the game. 10,430 people came to see the two teams play. That's the largest crowd ever at the Civic.